Hi, in this video you will learn how to manage your passwords using LastPass. You will need Google Chrome or Firefox as your browser, and you'll also need an extension called LastPass. I'm going to use Google Chrome to show you how to set up your LastPass account, save passwords to LastPass, and then update a website's password, and then save the new one you create back into LastPass. Now, because LastPass is going to do the remembering for you, you no longer need to have Google Chrome automatically saving your password. So let's disable that by going into the settings. And let's scroll down and look for show advanced settings. Scroll down a bit more. And look for a section that says passwords and forms. You'll want to uncheck offer to save your web passwords. And while you're here, you can also uncheck the autofill for web forms. Now let's go into the Chrome Web Store by going to chrome.google.com slash web store. The other path to get here is by clicking the apps shortcut menu and then clicking store. Let's search for LastPass, all one word. And I'm going to click the blue button that says free. And let's click add. give it a few seconds to install. Great. So it says LastPass has been added to Chrome. So you can close this pop-up. And let's create an account. So you need to enter an email address. This is the email address you'll be using to log into LastPass. And you also need to create a master password. And under password reminder, you simply need to enter a phrase that will prompt you to remember the master password. The time zone looks all right. And I'm going to check off the box that says that I have read and uh, accepted the terms of service and privacy statement. And I also need to check off a box that says, I understand that my encrypted data will be sent to LastPass. The other two options are optional, but uh, all you need to do now is simply click Create Account. Now you get a scary little page that says, uh, you know, don't forget your password. The key thing to remember here is uh, LastPass does not store the password, the master password you created. That's something that's your responsibility to remember. So I'm just going to re-enter the master password I created. And I'm going to click Create an Account. So I have an option here to create a form fill profile, but I'm simply going to say no. You can always come back to this and uh, uh, configure that later. So great, you're all done. Simply hit Continue. And this opens your LastPass vault. So this is the place where all of your passwords are going to reside. This is going to be your repository. Right now, it's empty. But before we navigate away from here, let's just take a quick look at the settings. So let's go into, uh, just right click the extension on the top right and go into options. And the default settings are pretty good. Uh, all I would recommend is you uncheck the box that says automatically fill login information. So just do that, scroll down and hit save. And now to demonstrate how to add passwords into LastPass, I'm going to log into Twitter and Salesforce. Great, so I've got two login pages. So let me key in my, my Twitter username and password. And when I click Sign In, LastPass will normally show me a blue bar that prompts me to save the username and password. So I'm simply going to click Save Site. And this page is important. On this page, you simply need to sort of refine what LastPass captures. So the URL over here is the URL that LastPass is going to look for. And once it identifies this URL, it'll give you this username and password. 
under the name field you can change the title of your password so I can call it Twitter grant book just in case I want to add Twitter and my personal Twitter here um, so that's something that I can modify in this name title and under the folder I can group passwords so I'm gonna create a folder called social media by simply typing it great so my password is saved and I'm gonna hit, simply hit save so let's log out of Twitter and the next time you go to Twitter you'll see a little asterisk next to uh, the place where you normally enter your username and password so simply click that and you've got your password saved so simply click the username and sign in so that was pretty simple occasionally LastPass does not show you that blue bar and a case in point is uh, my CRM so let me log into that very quickly and notice it doesn't give me that blue bar where I need to sort of automatically save the the site so in these cases what you need to do is manually add your username and password so what I'm gonna do is click the LastPass extension click tools and then click add site so you get that familiar page again but this time what you need to do is sort of re-enter the username and password so I'm gonna first clean up the URL so anything.salesforce.com you know is what um, should give me my username and password let me change this to salesforce.com and my name I'm gonna create a folder called core applications oops and the password that I just entered and my username great so I've got all of this saved I'm simply gonna hit save so let's say I log out now I see that asterisk I simply click the asterisk click my login information and log into Salesforce now from time to time you need to update your password and uh, it's a good idea to not have the same password from one website um, uh, to the to the next so what you will want to do is uh, is have unique passwords and you want to have strong passwords and LastPass helps you sort of create those so let's uh, reset the password on my Salesforce so you normally have to go into the settings of, of, of the web app that you're using and in my case I need to go into my personal information and then change my password now to get my old password all I need to do is click the LastPass extension where it says show matching sites I'm gonna click show matching sites hover over the entry that's over here and click the lock that says copy password so let's enter my old password and now to create a new password what I'm gonna do is go back into the extension and from the extension here I'm gonna click generate secure password now I can set an arbitrary length so I'm gonna maybe select 13 characters long and I'm gonna go into the advanced options and I'm gonna increase the digit count you know just to make it complicated so I'll say three digits uh, and I'm also gonna say use special characters you know just to make things interesting great so let's hide the advanced options and click this dial to you know generate the passwords so let's look for a scary one uh, that looks pretty scary so let's copy this password or you can also simply hit accept when you click accept LastPass sometimes if it identifies it on the page will automatically fill it in to the spaces that are available but it also creates a a placeholder entry of this password so I'm gonna click accept it entered in the password information here and I'm simply gonna hit save but notice on the top here that it's also created a placeholder entry right so what we'll want to do is is remove the conflicting information so I'm gonna go into the original entry click edit and then replace the password with the one that I just created and that's it and hit save
and now we can even delete the the temporary or the placeholder entry that's it so let's log out and log back in just to make sure everything's okay and there I am so if you're if you go back into our last pass fault you'll notice that we've got two folders the core applications and social media you can right click on any of these entries and you know copy the username password and things like that and you can click the pencil to edit the information at any time so I hope you found that video helpful and that is how you use LastPass to manage your passwords.